Welcome back everybody and check this out. A very common problem, especially within aircraft maintenance, a clogged sink. What you're looking at here is the Boeing 777-300 and here's a little glimpse of what it looks like underneath. This is the plumbing of the system. It goes down to a strainer right here. Before I can get into this and I'll show you the fix later on, so stick around. This is gonna be a bit of a long video. I wanna talk about the aircraft water and waste systems. That's right, welcome to chapter 38 ATA. Most aircraft have multiple tanks for water and waste. We're looking at here is a 321 family. This has one water tank as well as one waste tank. This is in the aft cargo pit. Just a note guys, these systems don't mix at all. Even though the tanks are right next to each other, that doesn't mean they intermix at all. And when they fall under the same ATA chapter, they are completely two separate systems. When the aircraft is on ground, they will service it through a panel like this the responsibility of ramp personnel. It's also a responsibility to dump the waste as well. It will get flushed with blue juice. The waste gets dumped into a lavatory truck. So when the airplane is on ground, the waste system works on a vacuum generator. It will suck the waste in, into the tank. If the aircraft is flying above 16,000 feet, it will use differential air pressure. Quite a simple system. When it comes to water, that will get dumped overboard via these. These are drain masks and they are heated. The reason they are heated because at high altitude it is very cold and you don't want water freezing up in those pipes. So the water that is in your sinks, in your lavatories, and your galleys will get dumped overboard. The water tank receptacles are also heated to make sure they don't ice up. Water also gets provided to the coffee makers right here. If you guys haven't seen the video of my water sterilization, please take a look at it. It's very informative. The water is also provided into the galley systems. Another little clog that we found right here. This is a back of the Airbus 321. This is the aft galley. And here's a good chance to look at what's going on behind here, behind these panels. It's a nice little view of the check valve or the pressurization safety check valves right there, as well as the chiller, which is that big white box right there. But the concern here was the drain itself. You know, I get the question a lot from people that what are we responsible for as maintenance personnel? Some people think we just change tires and lubricate airplanes. Not at all. We're actually responsible for the whole thing. Everything from toilets to tires, guys. Everything from your seat recline to lavatories to sink drains to aircraft systems. We troubleshoot, we fix, we make sure you're airworthy. So a lot goes into it. Here's another example. This was a clogged sink and it's a very simple fix. Majority of the systems have filters to prevent any cloggage into the plumbing. And yes, I know, it does not look very pleasing, does it? It's uh, lots of crud, lots of, yeah, things I don't even wanna know. But we are responsible for cleaning this up or changing equipment or components, making sure the aircraft is working properly. Once again, uh, this is another part of the AT38 chapter and uh, this is the water system, which you saw earlier with the drain mast when you wash your hands in the lavatories, this water is going to go overboard via the drain mast. Same thing with the galleys. When we do our inspections or we're doing our walk rounds, we want to make sure everything is working properly. After all, passenger comfort and passenger amenities are important to us, especially when it comes to toilet systems. Nobody wants to be stuck in an airplane flying 12 to 14 hours with a lavatory system that's not working. But sometimes it does happen. Well, my apologies for that. Now let's take a look at a unique aircraft. And the unique aircraft is the 787. Here is the potable water servicing port. This is how ramp services the water on the aircraft. But there's a really cool unique feature on this airplane. So come inside the forward cargo pit right here. Don't mind the man in a silly mask. In the forward cargo pit, right there in the aft wall, there is a very special filter. But the filter is not actually a filter. What it is, is a UV light. It's an extra step of sterilization. It will sterilize the water as it's getting pumped into the tanks. One other thing to note about the 787 is that it does not have any drain masks at all. For the water, that is. Whatever water that is used even in the galleys and the lavatories to wash your hands, it will go into the waste tank is considered gray water basically dirty water i don't know quite specifically why boeing chose this configuration my assumption would be because of the structural stability of the aircraft because their aircraft is fully composite when it comes to the fuselage so putting extra holes in there wouldn't make sense okay going back to the beginning yeah the triple seven look at the mess yeah i know guys i am sorry it looks like a mess and i will clean it up afterwards but i have no choice this was a quick turn and I need to get this fixed. So I tried to do my best putting paper towels and garbage bags underneath to catch all the debris and the water coming out. Sometimes it's just not possible to modify tooling. Sometimes we just have to use uh, the best what we can do. 
So what you're seeing there is basically the drain port, if you remember from the beginning. So this little area is a strainer. It comes down and catches any kind of debris that's coming down the drain from the galley sink. And 99% of the time why it gets clogged is because of this. Coffee grounds. And uh, this is my plea to my lovely flight attendants. I love you guys. You guys do such a tremendous job and I have utmost respect for you. But from maintenance personnel to you, I implore you, please be careful and don't put coffee grounds into the galley sinks. But that's all. As you can see, it's a little bit of a dirty job, but it's super easy to do. Take it out, make sure the strainer is cleaned out and put it back together. No torque needed on this. This is just hand tight. All is being done per aircraft maintenance manuals, obviously. Once again, I do apologize for a bit of a mess there, but it's okay. I'm going to clean it up afterwards. Okay, all done. Let's do an ops check. Make sure. Don't worry, I'm going to clean all this up as well. I used a little bit of hot water there, cleaned up the area, the surrounding area, dump some water and do a leak check because I want to make sure that there's no leakage at the strainer. But yeah, as you can see, I cleaned everything up, everything good to go and done and done. Aircraft is back into service and back flying. Hope you guys enjoy this. Um, that's about it. Yeah, that's us as aircraft maintenance. We do it all. We fix it all. We fix, you fly. Take care, guys. Have a good one.